Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from our WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have an extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you can see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. So today we're going over how to create a single blog post template in Elementor. So what's a single blog post template? Um, quite simply, it's the uniform layout for your individual blog posts. Uh, when you're reading someone's blog post uh, layout that is wrapped in is the single blog post template. Um, so in this tutorial, we will be creating uh, a similar blog post template similar to Tim Ferriss' blog post template. I really like uh, this blog post template because uh, it's not too flashy, it's lightweight, and it's uh, reminiscent of um, a lot of blogs, what they looked like in the 2010 to 2014 periods. Uh, so it's a little nostalgic for me. So to start, uh, go ahead, go to your WordPress dashboard. Um, uh, assuming you have Elementor installed, go to templates. Then click on the add new button to create a new template. A pop-up will appear, uh, choose the template type, and right here we're going to select single post. In this tutorial, we'll, we'll be uh, starting from scratch. Um, so I'll be using that flex box and choosing a one column layout. So you could choose to have one overarching container and then mess subsequent containers inside it. Or you could create multiple containers that are independent to one another. Uh, I personally like the first approach more because it allows you to apply changes easier. And once the, uh, you could control one master container, but it's really up to you. Um, okay, let's set the page layout to Elementor Canvas so we can focus on appearance. Next, select full width, then select background image under the style tab and make any necessary adjustments you want. Okay, now let's add a form. Uh, Elementor has one of the more powerful form builders amongst the many WordPress page builders. Uh, however, it's not available in the free version of Elementor. It's only available in the paid version, which is Elementor Pro. Uh, we're using this form builder to build an email list. Um, so it's important for you to connect uh, the form to your email marketing service provider if you do want to send uh, your email subscriptions to it and create some automated uh, email campaigns. Uh, otherwise, you can just leave it default and it will just register the emails into WordPress's back end. As for uh, designing the form, we'll make it uh, back tra background transparent, unlike on the Tim Ferriss blog, where they use a plain background. Um, and add a heading and subheading and play around with the typography and styling. Next, uh, add another flex box and choose a two column layout. Now, earlier in the video, I said uh, I like uh, one master container with the subsequent nested containers. Uh, so we're not doing that in this video. We're just creating separate containers that are uh, next to each other. Um, also, as you can see from the columns, uh, they are equal. Um, 
But if you compare it to Tim Ferriss's blog and most blogs, uh, the right side uh, column is smaller than the left side column because the left side column is where we are um, doing, uh, we are putting the post content in. Um, but in this, for the sake of simplicity in this tutorial, we're just going to create um, two equal columns, okay? Um, so uh, next, add post info uh, element that includes the author, date, time, and comments. You could adjust the padding and style as needed. Um, Add the post title, featured image, and post content elements. You can adjust the topography and color to your preference. So uh, the post content element is actually the most important element needed in your single post template. Because without it, your post will not display uh, your text. And now it will actually display an error saying something along the lines of, the post content widget was not found in your template. Um, we discussed that error and how to fix it in another video, and I'll link it here. Uh, but really, all you need to fix it is to put in your post content template into your single blog post template. All right, for the right side column, let's add a heading for the click to subscribe. Uh, text. And then add a customized button, play around with the elementor styles. Next, add uh, social buttons and icons. If you've made it this far into that tutorial, please smash the like button. It will really help out this channel and these tutorials. Now let's add an element to query the most popular posts and the most recent posts uh, and put it on the right side. Uh, there are several elements in Elementor that do this dynamically. Um, or you could just put static, uh, static links there uh, to link to the posts that you want to promote. Anyway, after doing that, after adding that, uh, let's add another flex box container and choose a one column layout for the placement of your comments. Um, um, one last thing, uh, in this tutorial, I did not put uh, social sharing buttons at the beginning or ending of uh, the single blog post template, but you should definitely do that so that people are actually able to easily share the article they just read with uh, their friends or followers on uh, social media.
Okay, so now that we're done with the template, let's check the responsiveness, uh, uh, check it on all screen size, see how it looks. And as you can see, it needs some small adjustments on different screen formats. Uh, uh, what I like about Elementor is that it's automatically responsive. And so really there's very little adjustments that you need to make, uh, if any, uh, to uh, optimize for uh, different screen sizes. Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, these videos take a lot of time, so if you do appreciate the content, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so we can reach more people. Uh, thank you. And if you have any comments or questions, leave in the section below and we will get to them as soon as we can. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.